Hello everyone, Spike Games here, back with more Magic Arena content. Yo, Nicol Bolas has arms and wings. With arms. Wait, go back. That's, those look like extra arms, whatever. Okay, back with more Magic Arena content. We're gonna do uh, some draft again. Let's do a ranked or the spark draft. Let's do it. Do the thing, yes. Let's go. Uh, we opened a Ketra, we we're picking it. Not much to discuss. Uh, follow up pick. Uh, Prison Realm. Staying white. Great removal. Definitely good. Here. Jace's Triumph. Puts us into blue, but is pretty solid. Thunder Drake. Also pretty good. In blue. For white. Teo is fine. Nothing exciting. Bulwark Giant is good but usually not in best of one. I don't usually put it in the main. And Rising Populous is pretty playable. Uh, in green, New Horizons is okay. Manticore is okay. But I think I'm just gonna go Jace's Triumph. Follow up pick second Jace's Triumph, interesting, or Law Rune Enforcer. I think I want the Law Rune Enforcer here, unfortunately because it's white, so it keeps us on Oketra. It's cheap, which is good for Oketra. Uh, it does everything we want, and it's good with Oketra. So, yeah. Here, I think it's just Iron Bully, even over, over Thunder Drake, just because I really want to be white. So, gonna do that. Here, uh, we could do a Dovin's Veto. Or we could do, let's see, cat, lol. Uh, this guy's okay. Dovin's Veto and Limited, I'm just like not super convinced, you know. They're, most of the things you want to counter are creatures. I'm gonna go cat, let's, let's see if we can get there early on cats. Uh, here, I think Pegasus is fine. Pegasus is fine. This is, this is, this is fine. All right, let's get Ashiok Stalker, which is pretty good. Uh, Wall of Runes is actually fine because it scries and helps us find Oketra, and then it makes a 4 4 with Oketra, so that's fine. Let's get one of these guys. Uh, this is a good wheel. Uh, here's a two drop. We just need some of those. Uh, another one of these. And this guy. Okay. Ooh. Command the Dread board, you say. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, well, that's a rare draft. That's all the card in a lot of standard decks, but I won't do that. I'll draft Pure, and I think Sunblade Angel is a very good top end card. Ravnica and War. Exile all multicolor permits. Eee, that's pretty neat. So, I know what you're saying. Narset is really good. Pick Narset. In this setup, we don't have anything for Narset to get. We have almost all creatures, so we're not going to pick Narset. I don't know if this is any good, to be honest with you. Um, this, 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 this. We could go like pretty troll and just have tons of walls of runes to scry us to a Ketra. Um, let's do it. I'm into it. I'm into it. Um, yeah, this is great. Finding a Ketra. This is turning into find a Ketra dot deck. Um, Lauren Enforcer or another cat. I think Lauren Enforcer, if we're being mature about it. Um, let's get some removal. I'll take some good removal. Seems fine. Uh, I'll take a second Sunblade Angel, honestly. Uh, we have no Planeswalkers, so we don't need this land. Uh, I'll take some more 2-drop removal, if you're going to give it to me. Uh, yeah, just 2-drop removal forever, that's fine. Here, I think we want another Pegasus. And then here, I think we actually just want another Pegasus. This is probably not going to make the main deck, that's okay. Cat! What's my rule? I think my rule is five cats, and I'll play cats. You can hold me to that one. Oh, baby Teferi, we're already in blue-white. 
Is it my lucky day? I am not going to stick this one out. That's great. It really helps with the Esper control deck I'm building too. Um let's see. So there's there's part of me that's like, oh let's just get this and make our deck even more like dig for a catcher dot deck. But what I think we want actually is this guy. Good at all points in the game. Definitely a good card. Is a creature, notably, for Oketra. Uh, here, I think we just want Callus Dismissal. Our two drop slot is just removal. <laughs> uh, I'll take another one of these. This is just great for finding our bombs. Uh, here, I'm honestly not opposed to just taking every single removal spell ever, honestly. Uh, Fiddle Dip, sure. Uh, here, probably stealth mission, but I'm probably not going to run it. More two drop removal. That is our entire deck, apparently. We'll take a light shield, but probably just to the side. Take this, but again, probably just to the side. This is not very good, but we'll take it because it's white. We'll take a Dovin's Veto, just to have it. Probably won't play it. We take whatever that card does. And here's Creature Counter, which honestly I'm more likely to play than Dovin's Veto, but still not very likely to play. Okay, uh, what do we cut? Well, we didn't get there on Cats. There's two cuts pretty easily. Um, we need three Divine Arrows. I think maybe not. Maybe two is fine. I don't really like this guy. Uh, we probably don't need three of these. Five more cuts still, huh? We don't need these guys, for sure. How many creatures do we have? Fifteen. Um, it's a kind of a low creature count for Oketra, but... I don't really know what else to cut here. I guess we could cut Stealth Mission. It's not super critical. Um, could cut one Transmutation. Eh, really kind of thinning down on our removal suite, but... I think we'll be okay. I don't really want to cut any more creatures with the way the deck is set up currently. So... If that's the case, I think we need to cut... Ugh, it's so hard. Maybe just one more arrow? Eh, that's scary. Um... Yep, this mana seems about right. Let's give it a shot. Blue white Oketra bombs and things to find her with. <laughs> her, it, it's a zombie at this point. Don't know what the gender pronouns to use on a zombie. <laughs> All right. Um, here, this hand is slow, but fine. Well, that makes it less slow, which I like. Now we need something to ramp into. There's the best card in our deck, so that's nice. And we're almost, we almost just have the mana to play here on curve, which is awesome. Uh, we're just going to tap you down. So no attacks for you. Yes. My plan is coming together. Okay. You might think I'm crazy. I'm not, I promise. We're just trying to stall until we get to Oketra. That is our mission in life. It's our only goal. We're going to get rid of Krenko because it's really scary. We don't need you anymore. No, we do. I lied, we do. Creatures give us 4-4s. Four that is a creature and it will give us a 4-4. Four four. Hit for one. 
Next turn, we play out Ketra. <laughs> this is very good. Opponent is manually tapping mana. What a god. Alright. Here's Oketra. How do you feel about that? Wonder if opponent's just gonna scoop to Oketra. That would be pretty funny. Yep. <laughs> oh, these bombs are good, but they're not that good. Come on, you gotta. You can't just scoop when you see it played. All right, starting off with a win. Game plan. Draw a catcher, play a catcher, opponent will surrender. Great. I can wrap my head around that strategy. Let's see what this opponent is on. This hand is, is also slow, but good. See what opponent decides to do here. They kept seven, okay. So we're gonna law rune enforce them. Beat you down ruthlessly with a law rune enforcer. <laughs> I actually sort of like to see green here, because it means they're going to play some big creatures that we can just turn into 1-1s, one which is nice. Guild Globe. Or they're just in some weird multicolor jank build. Alright, 20 turn clock. Opponent better get used to Law Rune Enforcer beats here. So I got a lot of removal. And now we have a top end plan at some point in the future. Okay, opponent's playing blue, so we gotta be aware of the counter spells at least. Okay. Do we care about that at all? Uh, yeah, I think we do. I don't think we want it to be able to make, to find him dudes. And it also allows me to continue the brutal law enforcer beat. Yeah, I think this ability is good enough that we just don't want our opponent to have it. And we have another removal spell in hand that's actually better, so. Okay. That's a little annoying, but whatever. It doesn't have the ability, that's why we did it. Somewhat hard to say if opponent actually is like a super multicolor deck so far. Just because we've only seen two colors of lands. But they're there now, they can cast all their colors. Let's see what they have. Okay, Mo is a grand candidate to get Prison Realmed, for sure. But for now, we can just keep tapping your stuff down. You know what's better than one Sunblade Angel? Two Sunblade Angels. <laughs> We're attacking there because we're just definitely not blocking next turn with those two. What's that? That three mana put a counter on something proliferate? 
That would be rough here. Oh, well, that's almost equally rough. But he is very prison realmed next turn. That is for certain. No blocks. The only actually situation that we might not do that is if we draw a land, a white land, or I guess it could be any color land. Because then we'll be on seven and we can play second Sunblade Angel, uh, tap his guy down. Well, when it goes to attack, so that'll be pretty good. I think I would do that. But we don't, which is fine. So I think we just really get rid of that Mowu. That's just the scariest thing. Oh, he has lots of tap plating. Yo, that's really bad. Do we have to kill our own guy? Is that a thing? No, okay. <laughs> that would be that would be really rough. I think we're still okay. It's really hard to race uh Sunblade Angel. It's because it's yeah, six point swings every turn. So we're gonna tap Mowu before attacks. That's fine. I think your guy's a 3 3 and a 6 6 and a 2 2. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, a 7 7 because Mo was scary. It still has 3 mana. What else do they have? Iron Bully, yeah, that resolves. Make a 9-9 nine, nine, Mowu. Or just a 2-2. Two, two. Interesting. Not what I would have done. Ready to tap Mowu. Oh, it is tapped out, so they cannot attack. Which is great for us. Now, we have 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. Which means we can do the thing that I was talking about the other time. Where we go like this and like this. Go to 19, go to 19 still. And then we play this second Sunblade Angel. And we still tap down Mowu. <laughs> An opponent should probably realize they are dead. But we'll see. I feel like we, yeah, I just, I just don't care about that. The diversity of life on each plane gives it personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, I just don't care. In the slightest, to be honest. Because anything you do, I'll just respond by using Law Root Enforcer to tap Mo and you die next turn, pretty much. Rune is very much thinking about this, though. <laughs> Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I don't think that gets you there though, right? This, isn't your average zombie horse. this doesn't add mana, right? Yeah. I think we're still fine. What am I missing? I think we just went, right? What am I... I feel like I'm missing something.
Yeah, okay. Uh, for the second there, I, I was scared that they had... Um, uh, what is it? Spark Harvest? The one that's uh, cast for five, but then you can cast it for one if you sack a creature, and he was going to sack his grizzly uh, and do very mean things to me. Um, okay. Uh, I think we're going to call it at that. So this draft deck's going well so far. It's got a catcher. We're 2-0. Uh, thanks for watching. As usual, Spike Games here, and we'll see you in the next video.